Yeah, good morning. So it's more common than you might think. Somebody on the other end who has your cell phone information could be spying on you, Ryan Eldridge. Tell me more. Stalkerware. Well, Stalkerware. So we talked about online privacy the other day. We're all worried about Google. We're worried about Facebook. Yep. What do they know? But if you've got something like... Well, this, I'm, let me, sorry, I, I okay. messed up. Okay, let me do this again. Just <laughs> Rewind. A little less Don't dramatic. Don't worry, I read the tweet a shot. You know, it's just a... We're, it's, we're just, we're playing it by ear yeah, here yeah, today. Yeah, yeah, We'll so fix it in post. It's basically, it Stalkerware is software that's designed to spy. That's okay. the only purpose of it, and okay. it's used by... Jealous sexes. Look how jealous this guy is. Oh, yeah, look at oh, him. He's over jealous exes. Staring over her oh, shoulder. He's a soon to be ex. Furrowed brow and all. Suspicious spouse. Look at this oh. dude. Oh, he's so suspicious. But <gasps> well, look she's at, being kind look, of shady. When you cover like, your mouth, <laughs> who are you talking to? Exactly. You know? Or look at this guy. This is like a creeper. Oh. We're employers that are checking out what our employees <gasps> oh, are yeah, doing. Oh, yeah, what so do you, you want? You might want to know computer. this kind of stuff, right? Mm -hmm. or, or concerned parents. Okay. She's I get concerned. I get that though. Okay. Yeah. So one of the one of the big software packages out there right now is called Flexi Spy. Okay. So if you see that app or you see remnants of it, that might be kind of like an indicator. Okay. But here's okay. some other ways to check. So if anyone has had access to your phone or computer, yes, it's possible that they could install this. Now it's pretty rare that you're going to get stalkerware by like downloading a link or accidentally running across it on the web. Okay. This is going to be something that somebody puts in there. Somebody's on doing purpose. on purpose. So they want to the know ways, more. One of the ways to check is if you've suddenly got performance issues mm -hmm. with your phone and it's not working quite right, it seems to be slower all of a sudden, oh. and it's not a gradual thing. All of a sudden, it just seems slower. Okay. Your battery seems to drain faster than usual. Isn't this all the iPhones like two years ago? <laughs> sorry. Stop it. Sorry. No, see, then I'm going to have to get in here <laughs> with sorry. court and talk I'm sorry, about sorry, 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 sorry. Don't do it. No, okay. okay. So if you're on a computer, like a Windows-based yep. computer, you can run the task manager. Just right-click on the taskbar at the bottom, pull up task manager. It'll mm -hmm. tell you the different programs that are running in the background. Yep. If you see something that looks unfamiliar, Google it, see what it is. Okay. If it's something you don't want, you can just turn it off right there in task manager. Oh. Pretty cool. If you're using a Mac, use activity monitor. You get the same list of stuff. Okay. And you can just turn off anything you don't activity recognize. Activity monitor. Good to know. If you're in Windows, you can go into the settings, go into camera, and you can see all of the different apps that have access to your camera. because how creepy is that? Yes. Your camera suddenly turn on? Very creepy. If you're on a Mac, download a program called Oversight. Oversight will tell you anytime your camera or your microphone becomes active without your. Wait, express so you're telling clicking. me remotely people can look through my camera and see what I'm doing? Yes. And the little green light won't even turn on. That is terrifying. I know. That's why people put tape over their cameras. Yeah. Oh, that's scary. So if you've got an iPhone, you don't have to worry about somebody installing an app really without you knowing that it's going to be there because it's going to show up. Okay. But if it's a jailbroken iPhone, then they could. And so if you've got a suspicious spouse or somebody or an ex who's gotten a hold of your phone, jailbroken okay. it, and then put some spyware on there, you got to be aware. Oh. Here's a telltale sign. If you have the Cedia app, this is what it looks like. If that suddenly shows up on your phone, somebody's jailbroken your phone. Oh. And they may be stalking you. Oh, my goodness. You can also check if you've got an older version of iOS, but it's not updating very well. Mm -hmm. That could also be a sig signal that, hey, something's going wrong. Okay. If you're on Android, take a look in settings in security. Look for unknown sources. This means allowing apps to um, install from unknown sources, places other than the Google Play Store Ooh. or one of the okay. Amazon stores. Got it. If you get FlexiSpy and you have it on your computer, you can just simply Google remove FlexiSpy. Okay. But you can go to ops.securitywithoutborders.org slash FlexiSpy. Okay. Yeah, I know. Which is on there or no? It's, it's on there. It'll be on there somewhere. Or you can, you can go to our show notes and it'll be on there. Okay. And you just run a program and it'll remove it for you. Okay. Uh, you can also use Microsoft's Safety Scanner, which is free for Microsoft, and they'll, that'll remove it for you as well. Okay. Um, of course, if you've got an iPhone or, a, or phone and you think it's something's wrong with it, just factory reset that. That thing. Yes. And that'll reset remove everything too, even Reset. a jailbreak. Okay. And last but not least, if somebody's on your social media accounts but you don't know it, you can always reset all your passwords. Ah. Uh, put two factor authentication in so you'll uh -huh. get a little text alert anytime somebody tries to log into your stuff. Yep. And if you're on um, Google, you can go in and you can see what devices have attached to your uh, Gmail account, who have okay. access to your Gmail account, and you'll also get GPS coordinates of where they are. Look at that. How cool is that? What? Okay, what he cannot do is help you through the therapy sessions after you find out that someone's been stalking you. Well, That's someone else's I just, else's I just call Ken and I say, hey, Ken, yeah. this guy's watching me. <laughs> and Ken just has a talk with him and, and it fixes it. Ken does it. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, yeah. I'm a very direct individual. <laughs> I'm Ryan very Eldridge, direct. Nerds on Call, thank you so much. We're going to have much more information on our website. Just look for show info and today's date at gooddaysack.com. All right, back over to you, Ken, Mr. Hey. Therapy.